What's cooking guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a mask reveal transition effect like this. Let's do it. All right, guys, so for my video, I'm using two FPV drone clips that one of my friends shot. His name is Tronca FPV. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Check him out. His stuff is really good. So I'm using two of his clips. One is going through an archway and then the second clip is like a diving and revealing the castle. So I want to mask through this archway. As he goes through this archway, I want to mask out part of the archway so it fluently transitions into this clip as he finishes and goes through this archway. It's straight into this clip. So to get started, I actually want to find out where my mask points are. So what I'm gonna choose is I'm actually gonna choose this edge of the railing along the ground and it's gonna go along this white part of the castle up and around following this side of the building. And this image is going to reveal itself through this part, kind of starting small right here and then kind of growing as I go through right here and then out alongside this building and then finishing off going off the side of the building where it's going to reveal the second clip fully. So what I wanna do is I wanna start by going to the end of where my mask will be. And like I said, it's going to be along this white part of this building. And I wanna go until the white part of the building is completely off. So it's still on a little bit right there and now it's completely off. That's where I want this clip to end. And I already have it cut to that at the moment. So that's perfect. Now that I have the end of my mask cut to where this clip is, I wanna to go to the beginning of where my mask will be, which like I said, it's gonna be a little tough because I'm going along this railing right here. So I'm going to zoom in quite a bit, like 400%. And I'm gonna kind of go over to where the start of my mask is, like right around this railing right here. But I wanna to go to the very beginning to where there's barely any mask available. See, still this little triangle here. Keep going, still got a little bit of a triangle. Hard to see, but still a little bit of a triangle. I wanna go all the way till there's nothing there. And now there's nothing showing. So this is where I want my mask to actually start. I'm going to grab my second clip where I will actually start masking that underneath the archway. And I'm actually gonna pull that up on my timeline and I'm gonna pull that where the mask will be on its first frame. So now what we wanna do is we actually wanna start creating our mask. So we're gonna make sure our top layer is selected, but I can't see that first clip so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change the opacity to this top clip to like 10, very little bit. Putting the opacity to 10% just allows me to be more accurate with my lines against the side of the building without this clip kind of just being in the way. It will just be more accurate to grab to those lines. I'll show you what I mean a little bit later. As I have that at 10%, let's go back to the front of this clip. I'm gonna make sure this is selected and hit the up arrow key to go to the beginning of this clip. I'm going to hit the free draw bezier and like I said, I'm at 400% as far as I can go. Now we can actually start our mask. So I know it's a small little triangle. You can barely see it. So I'm going to kind of just click a small triangle, kind of drag it in, hit another point right here, drag that in, and there's our first mask point. So I'm gonna go back over to my mask, go to my mask path, and hit the toggle animation to create my first keyframe. I'm gonna zoom into this a little bit so I can actually see my keyframes. And now what we want to do is we want to hit the track select mask forward one frame. And now what I can do is I can start kind of grabbing my points and I'm gonna start shaping it to the side of that railing. And like I said, my points are very small so it's kind of hard to see. So I'm really gonna to have to kind of get the right dots and kind of just start dragging against the side of that railing. It doesn't have to be perfect and then when you're ready for the next frame, just track select mask forward one frame. And now our kind of shape is getting a little bit bigger. I can start to just grab these points and going along this line. I have to move this kind of pointer a little bit, get it along the corner of the banner again, track select mask forward. And you're basically going to do this over and over and over again until I completely reveal my image. Keep going frame by frame, matching up the wall, one point at a time, just kind of following the wall and the balcony, and then just track select mask forward, pulling this again against the wall, double checking, kind of pulling it back and forth. And then when you start to get the mask big enough, you'll actually be able to form this kind of hand key in the middle. This allows you actually to pull the mask side to side, rather than having to pull each point and then match up one side 
and then you only have to move a couple points rather than all three of them. And this definitely becomes helpful when you have a lot of points. And then keep dragging. Now I'm kind of starting to get a little bit more distinct lines and I'm starting, my lines are starting to change so I might need to start creating new points like I have this little curve going on this little uh, edge of the building here so I'm going to have to create another dot, pull it to here, and then move, I'm going to have to move this anchor again, move this to the corner, and then that should be good. Track select mask forward. Another frame. Now I can pull it and kind of put it to this point. I'm going to have to move this point again to the corner. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. I could create more points to really kind of go around this corner of the building. But like I said before, I'm going to be able to feather the mask and kind of work against those lines. So it won't be too big of a deal. I'm going to actually lower my feather to zero just so I don't have those kind of other lines in the way. This is a little easier for me, but this is basically what I'm going to keep doing over and over again as I keep kind of revealing this side of the wall and into the opening. And to show you, I'm going to increase the opacity of my second clip back to 100% and see it actually is showing right here. So I can go left and right arrow key back and forth right here and you can kind of see this little triangle start to pop up and appear right here as I'm kind of going through the masking points and it's revealing that second clip very slowly, but it's revealing it and I'm gonna keep going and this is gonna keep growing all the way until we completely get away from the castle. And of course, this is not gonna be straight lines. I took down the feathering, but so we're gonna adjust the feathering later and they're not gonna be straight lines and it will definitely look a lot smoother. So back at it, I'm going to change my opacity back down to 10% and continue with my mask, following my mask points against the wall and against the castle. All right guys, so now as my mask is really starting to grow and more is starting to be revealed, I'm starting to kind of match up to this other harsh line and kind of going across the castle here. So now I can really start kind of guiding uh, this line right across the building, across the castle here. Before I was kind of just going straight across because I didn't really want a straight line down, but now that the mask started moving in and this castle started kind of coming up and these lines started lining up, now I can actually start connecting those lines and now my mask is really going to start to grow because now more of this building is starting to be revealed. I have this line going this way here. Of course, I still got the castle line here and kind of going down and then kind of still matching up on this bottom balcony here, kind of matching up there, track select mask forward and I'm going to again just drag kind of line up uh, this corner right here. And then I can kind of pull to the corner of this and I'm kind of going, like I said, against this castle wall and then kind of following the distinct line of this castle. So I'm just gonna keep going more and more and now I'm able to actually move this down a little bit and I might be able to zoom out to 200% because now my mask is getting a lot bigger and I'm kind of always matching up my mask with this point here and then I'm kind of just pulling from there See, it's just a very tedious process, but I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep masking the lines and keep expanding this mask until I reveal even more. So now I'm kind of at like a halfway point. Like I'm almost done the mask. I got the hardest part done. The rest is just kind of be moving and pulling the lines out. I'm going to bring that opacity up. So you can kind of get another look at what it's going to look like. And I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna go back and see this kind of mask forming here and see how it's starting to grow. And it's starting to reveal itself through this little part of the archway. And then it's just gonna keep growing and going through it the rest of this. So I'm gonna go back to my first point, kind of zoom in this a little bit, back to my first point. Click here, hit this arrow, back to my first point. Make sure my mask is selected and let's continue. And now I'm kind of getting to almost the final stretch, almost the final stretch where uh, the wall is actually starting to go completely off the screen. And I'm being able to just kind of pull to the normal corner points, 
and then this wall is no longer here. So I can kind of just pull my keyframes off the screen. Not all of them though, because I can still see a little bit of wall here. So I'm gonna kind of just pull a couple more keyframes up this way, kind of going along here, but there's no longer anything up here. So now I'm actually gonna kind of just pull these off the screen for now. And I'm gonna keep following uh, my wall lines down here. But the same thing up here, like I have this point here, which I can kind of pull up and off. And I'm gonna follow the castle line down here, create some more points, kind of pull them along the side of the castle. Looks good, track select mask forward. And now this wall is completely off, so I don't need any of these points. So I'm gonna just pull these completely off. Don't need any of those. And now I can kind of start pulling these down to this bottom balcony, which is gonna probably in the next couple frames, this whole balcony is gonna be off and I'm gonna be going just against this castle. So we're getting closer guys, let's keep going. And what I am keeping in mind is some of my points that I pulled off of the screen earlier will start to come in on the sides or tops or even the bottom. So you kind of just kind of want to pull them back. And if you feel like you missed some in the previous frames, you can always just go back with the go previous keyframe and double check. Like this one's almost on. So I'm gonna pull that one off and everything else looks good. So I'm gonna go back to my first keyframe and continue until this goes off the last little bit. little bit left it's really starting to go off and now it's off now I'm at the end but I still do need to pull these keyframes off the screen and there we go now I can take a quick look at what it looks like make sure you bring the opacity back up to 100% and this is what we get not too bad like I said I have these really harsh lines you can definitely notice them a little bit more but that actually looks really, really good. It's exactly what I kind of am looking for. But of course I want to feather it so I don't have those harsh lines like I was saying. So I'm going to just change the feather. Um, kind of just up to you how, you how much you want it. I'm going to just mess around. I'm going to start at 30. So I'm kind of going back and just adjusting my mask feather and some of the mask expansion as well to try to get it to look exactly how I want. It's gonna be completely different on your case on how you want it to look. But I'm trying to make the mask as flawless as possible. So I'm kind of just going back and forth with the feather increasing it and decreasing it and same with the expansion. And I'm actually going back and adjusting some of the points as well. So I can get the mask to line up as perfect as possible so it can look as smooth as possible. And then you get something like this. Perfect, that's exactly what I want it to look like. I'm gonna do one more finishing touch by nesting these two sequences. I'm going to do this as arch mask. And then I'm gonna double click on my layer to expand it and I'm gonna right click in the FX and do remapping speed. And then I'm gonna go around to where the front of the mask is, maybe around here. And I'm gonna hit a keyframe and I'm gonna drag this up to like 300%. And then I'm gonna kind of pull this line to kind of do an easy ease. And then I'm going to stop that when it's kind of at the end of the castle, kind of here. Put another point and then drag this back down to 100%. And then easy ease this way a little bit. And this is what our final product looks like. Perfect. And that's our mask reveal transition effect. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button for me and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you can be kept up with all my other transitions and effects videos like this. And as always, if you think I should have done it a different way or maybe there's a faster way, definitely leave it down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.